Hey guys, um, so today this is going to be the third video in my project pan. Um, today I want to focus the video on like a, a natural kind of makeup. So we're going to be playing with this Makeup Revolution palette um, that is part of the project pan. So I'm really excited. Um, currently, and from now until the end of March, I'm uploading two videos a day. Um, I decided to do it for people that are going into lockdown and um, self-isolation and quarantine and all that stuff. Um, there's nothing worse than being stuck at home and having no new YouTube videos to watch. So I thought I would take one for the team and upload two videos a day. So far it's actually been like really good. Like I was a bit worried. I was like, oh god, I don't know if I should do this. The workload might, the workload might be too much. But I think I should be okay. I think I should be able to survive until the end of March. Um, so yeah, I've got two mosquito bites, I've got one here and one here, um, because it was so hot last night and I opened my window stupidly and a thousand mosquitoes flew in and bit me and they're all like over my arm and on my back and my neck and everything so I'm just having like a really bad time with the mosquito. Anyway. For my brows today, I used the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which is in my Project Pan. And then I just used the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Light 10 and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. These are not in the Project Pan. Another thing that's not in the Project Pan is the P. Louise Base um, in Room 01. So I'm just using that today to prime my eyes. I don't have any that I'm trying to pan, so... What the hell? That was a big fluff. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go in. So this palette here, this is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette. This is the Velvet Rose. I actually really like this palette. I think it's beautiful. It reminds me a lot of um, the Soft Glam palette. Um, I really want to do like a, a dupes video. The only reason I'm putting this in here is because it's such a beautiful palette and it just doesn't get enough use. Um, when I do end up finishing the series, I'm thinking at the moment I'll make it about 10 episodes long, so it'll probably be finished in like a month or so. Um, this is definitely going to be something that I put back into my collection. I just really wanted to put it in here to actually get a bit of use out of it um, because it's just such a pretty palette. and. So I'm going to zoom you in. I'm going to go for a pretty basic eye look. Um, I just want some like kind of neutral glam. Um, so I think the first colour I'll start with is this one here. It's a bit more like a brick, brick red brown kind of colour. Okay. Just going to start by putting that all over the lid. I actually really quite like Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. I think they're really good, especially for the price point. These palettes are like eight bucks. Um, and you can tell it's a nice palette. Like if it was, if you're the kind of person that wears like everyday makeup, every, makeup every day, this would be like the perfect palette for you. It's so cheap, it's so good. Like it's such good quality. Like it's just, I really do like Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. And that's why I want to I put this one in here so that I can actually get some use out of it. I just feel like they're nice. They look soft, like just like really nice shades. I don't know. I just really like them. Okay, I'm just going to put this brush to the side because I want to use it um, to blend everything together at the end. But I'm just going to grab a bit of a smaller brush now. Now I'm going to go with this like slightly deeper shade, this one here. Um, and just above the crease. I really want to order pizza for tea, but I just don't know. Pizza is the only thing that delivers to my house. I'm out of area for Uber Eats, so I don't really have much opportunity, like much um, variety at all. Because I don't have my license, so. If I want something that's not at home, I either got to beg my parents to drive me down or I need to order pizza. Okay, before we go on with the next shade, I'm just taking that big fluffy brush and just blending. Then, 
the last shade I'm gonna go in with is the this one here, which is like once again just a bit deeper. I'm really gonna uh, make sure that I get this one in the outer corner as well because we're gonna do a cut crease. Okay, and then I'm going back into the second shade, so this one here, like the second deepest, and just getting a little bit on that big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use that to blend the lightest and the darkest. Okay, and then once that's all blended, I'm just going into my little Fenty Beauty thing. Little um, brush cleaner. Just got majority of that pigment off the brush and now I'm just using it to make sure everything is fully blended. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and cut my crease um, and then I will be back. Okay, so I just cut my crease and um, I used the P. Louise base. I like to um, cut my crease using this base but I don't like how it creases. Anyway, okay. I'm going to take um, I really want to take that gold shimmer but I feel like that's just always what I do and I just wonder if I don't know what to do I know I did a look like this similar um, not on back so I just want to see I honestly might just leave it like this, like that. Um, I'll s uh, I, don't uh, I guess I'm gonna have to set it so it doesn't crease. I'm just gonna take this like creamy color and just like press that into the cut crease, just so it doesn't crease. Then I'm just gonna go into the gold shade and just put that on my inner corner. The only downside of this palette is there's not a whole lot you can do. It's obviously a pretty neutral palette, but for eight bucks, like I said, if you're someone who does makeup like every day and who just wants something to create neutral looks, I feel like it's a really good palette. I feel like the quality's there, you know. So I really don't think that it's something you would regret. And even if you didn't like it, it's only $8. So it's not like you've spent upwards of like 20 bucks on a palette that you hate, if that makes sense. So Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to line my lash. What? I'm going to do a liquid line. <laughs> I'm going to do some line now. And I'm taking the Revolution. It, just, it doesn't say anything. It just says... Revolution Makeup Revolution London. So I don't know what this is, but this is just one of their liquid liners. Um, this is also in the project pan. I can't remember how this is, so I'm scared. seems pretty good. I feel like it's a little bit hard to get a super precise line because the tip is just a tiny little bit thick but the actual formula itself is really nice. So. Okay so yeah I quite I quite like that I feel like that's a pretty nice liner. See mostly like some of this stuff like I actually like it's actually really good products it's just things that because I have so much makeup like they kind of forget about them and stuff so it's like anyway. Uh, this isn't in the project pan, but this is my Benefit Their Real Mascara Primer, I feel like. This is like all gone almost. Because I use this no matter what mascara I use. Unless I'm like trying one out or something. Sorry, yeah. I get you it gets used up a lot faster than my other products, to be honest. Okay. This next mascara, it's only in the project pan because it's so old. I've had this for like two years. And like it's so dry now anyway but this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara so so much. 
It is so old, like I should not even be using it, but I just want to get its last days out of it, you know, before I say goodbye, but I just, I love this mascara, I really need to buy it again. It just seems silly, like, repurchasing mascaras when I already have so many, but I do really love this one. Okay, I'm gonna go put some lashes on now, and then I'll be back to do the rest of the face. Okay, so I just used the ColourPop lashes in Shorty. Once again, they're not in the project pan. Um, I don't have like a full face of stuff in this project pan, so that's why I'm using some project pan things, some not. Um, but this next product is, in fact, in the project pan. This is the NYX uh, Pore Filler. Once again, I don't think this is like a bad product or anything. It's just like, I'm not really, I'm more into hydrating nowadays. And I just don't get around to using all of this stuff. So I just want to... Yuck, what the hell? I just want to like use some of it up. This seems like it's kind of dried out though. Um, I don't know. No, I feel like it's okay. Okay, anyway. Okay, that feels pretty nice. Feels like not as nice as my benefit professional but still pretty nice so that's good foundation i'm taking today is the tarte shape tape hydrating foundation I really need to wet my sponge can i be bothered not really but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna go with my sponge and then i'll be back okay i've wet my sponge now and now we're just taking the tarte shape tape hydrating foundation in porcelain Um, I couldn't remember what I thought of this foundation in like my last declutter because I was like, oh, I don't know if I should declutter it or not because I couldn't remember what I thought. So this will be good to, to actually see what I think of it. It's so light. It'll be also interesting because I'm more into hydrating stuff at the moment too, so. It says it's hydrating, but this is like... I feel like this looks drier than a, a matte foundation, like it just looks really awful on my skin. I will do some close-ups in a minute and you can have a look. Okay. So, if you can see here on my nose, like you can't, like, this is meant to be hydrating. My under eyes, it's not going to focus. Like, It looks really bad. Really, really, really bad. Like it doesn't look hydrating at all. I don't understand. Okay, anyway, taking this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige. Already know I don't like this concealer, so. The foundation is such sheer coverage as well and I know it like I feel like the colour I bought might just be too light as well but it just looks awful like it's meant to be a a hydrating foundation and it looks like it's about to flake off my face it's just disgusting like it's not like I used a pore filling primer it's not like I used like a mattifying primer or anything like that yeah, it says, creates a satiny, smooth finish, minimizing the appearance of enlarged pores. So it's not like it mattifies or anything like that. Anyway, taking the Makeup Revolution Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Um, and I'm actually going to set my whole face with this. Um, because the only pressed powder I have in my project pan 
is a matte one. And I wanted something like to be looking dewy today, but also now considering that this foundation looks so disgusting. I definitely couldn't put a matte powder over this. I'm genuinely like so confused. Okay, I'm just gonna take a light brush of this all over my face as well. It's just a little bit lighter, so hopefully it shouldn't look too powdery. And I'm just taking literally like the tiniest bit. I just don't like the feeling of an unset face, so. I don't have any bronzers in my project pan, so I'm gonna have to grab one out of my drawer. I'm actually gonna take my BH Cosmetics one today. This is the Brilliance Bronzer in Bronze Babe. <clears throat> I really don't... This is such a nice bronzer, it's so warm. It's got little shimmers through it, like really, really tiny ones. But it's just a, a nice bronzer. Oh no. How did that happen? Okay, that's what happens when you get carried away with bronzer. Oopsies, it's okay. It's not like I was having a good makeup day anyway. I'm just going to take like this revolution, like kind of chisel brush and take some of that powder. I guess I'm gonna have to do this on the other side now too. Hey? <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll just leave that there for a minute. Um, I'm going to do some blush. Um, I don't know what color to take. I kind of want to take this one. I've never used that one before. This is the Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Blush Palette. I actually really like this one. I put this in the project pan just because I don't use blush too much, so I've got a whole palette of it. <clears throat> so I just want to get some use out of it. So I'm only taking like a tiny bit. Okay, now let's just... My face looks absolutely disgusting, like. Let me, like, I need you to see this. Look how, like, dry and textured. It looks, can you see that? You have to be able to see that. That's like, oof. That's foul. That's like actually disgusting. Like, oof, I don't like that. Okay. Anyway, let's just do the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to take whatever's left on this brush and just run some under. Okay, I'm going to put our mascara on wherever it may have gone. Now let's highlight. I'm going to take the Physicians Formula Mineral Glow Pearls in Champagne. Just looks like that. It's a very subtle highlighter, isn't it? really nice though like it is actually like really pretty I kind of want to put it back in my collection but I also I think I'm just gonna leave it in the um, project pan for now at least then I can get a bit more use out of it um, it's really really pretty but it's not like when I put that um, butter highlighter on from them I was like there's no way I'm letting this go this is beautiful but it's not like I'm having that reaction of like I need this if you know what I mean um, so 
yeah I really do like that though that's very pretty <clears throat> now I'm going to set my face with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Sitting Spray something lavender okay we need a lip so I'm gonna take this Kathleen Lights X Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Dreamy Oh my god. The makeup gods are testing me today, I tell you that much. Okay. I need to do something about my hair. I feel like I just want it back. Okay, and I'll put this. I need some bobby pins. Okay, so this is the finished neutral glam look um, using my project pan stuff. I really hope you guys are enjoying this project pan series. Let me know what you think. I really want to hear your feedback and if you're enjoying it, if you want me to do like another season or, you know. But yeah, I think at the moment I'm going to aim for about 10 episodes in this one. Um, I think this is like the third, third episode. So yeah, I'd really be interested to hear thoughts on if you're actually enjoying this or what the go is. Um, the only thing I really want to talk about in this video is how much I hate that foundation. Oh, it's hideous. I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.